And now, Macbeth. Loved it! I love the part where it says, King Lando got nothing on me! Y'all <laughs> gotta see it, it's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins, but please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> this, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nick likes me out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. My wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watch them, like you know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. So here we go. Here we go. Tonight in Hollywood has come to a close. It was a night of first. A deaf actor and a streaming service all celebrated Oscar wins, but before we give you a rundown of the big wins, we must talk about Will Smith. It's what everyone will be talking about at the water cooler today. The actor and Philadelphia native wallop comedian Chris Rock on stage after Rock made a joke about Will's wife, Jada, who's dealing with alopecia. This was not scripted, leaving the audience and viewers at home going, did that just happen? Uh, it did. Even in Hollywood, I don't know if they could have staged something like that. The moment was all the more surreal, given the fact that Smith was nominated and would later return to the stage to claim the award for Best Actor. Attorney's reporter Corey Davis is live at Overbrook High School, where Smith once attended school. Good morning, Corey. Out of town. Good morning. Yeah, Will Smith uh, slapping Chris Rock in the face was certainly out of character for the reputation he worked to create ever since his days here at Overbrook High School. You know, when he attended school, he wrote in his autobiography on his first day, he was punched in the face here at Overbrook. And since then, he tried to not rap about violence and also did not use cuss words in his lyrics. But that mentality changed, of course, after Chris Rock made that joke referring to uh, Will Smith's wife, uh, Jada Pinkett, Pinkett Smith's hair loss. And then after that, you can see there what happens. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane, too. Can't wait to see you. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, Will Smith didn't stop. It was real as Chris Rock tried to compose himself to finish presenting an award. Some fellow stars consoled Smith during a commercial break. He went on to win the Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role. This is Smith's first time winning an Academy Award, but now it's overshadowed by that slap that was seen around the world. saying the Academy does not condone violence of any form. Stars who were in attendance 
uh, the ceremony they reacted after the show. You know, what everyone's buzzing about is uh, Chris Rock and Will Smith. That, that, that was a stunning moment, and uh, it, 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 it was something I'll remember for a while. I, I, people thought it was a joke. I did too, I, I, because I'd never seen anything like that on television before. Yeah, certainly a lot of talk on social media about this. In fact, uh, one, one hashtag on Twitter is trending saying, arrest Will Smith. Well, in the meantime, though, the LAPD is uh, putting out there that charges have been filed at the moment, so uh, they will be on standby in case that does happen. Reporting live here in Oakland, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.